Hello, it's the Dynamic Dipper from Morecambe Bay. We're not in Morecambe Bay today, we're at Coniston. I've just finished work and I'm stopping off for a swim on the way back. If you like the videos, there's lots of other videos on swimming outdoors generally, uh, to do with kit list and uh, how to packing, packing order, all those sorts of things. If you want to look at the other videos and keep up to date with my videos, click on the link below, subscribe below. So beautiful kind of thing today absolutely gorgeous really still uh, a little bit cloudy but you can see the sun coming through the clouds there really nice i wanted to mention two things today um so this video is going to talk about one of the most useful books for swimming in the lake district and also what you're to do when you've forgotten your towel so we've all had those moments when we've packed all the essential kit earplugs double bobble hat you know all the stuff to keep warm hot water bottle flask but actually you've forgotten the fundamental thing which is the towel and we'll talk about that when I come out and I'll give you a demonstration of what you to do when you've forgotten your towel um, but before going um, I wanted to talk about this book so swimming wild in the Lake District this is the single most informative book I have read on swimming wild and I get the fact that it's only relevant for the Lake District but I'm guessing that in the summertime when lockdown lifts a little bit maybe and we're able to travel from county to county you would find this book really really useful very very informative talks about all the different lakes accessibility points to get in there's four or five points at every different lake it also talks about where to park and maybe where you want to go for a snack or a warm drink afterwards. It's beautiful in its pictures, totally enticing and really makes you want to go and try all these different places. And so today, because I uh, am calling on the way back from work and it's on the way, through this book I've chosen to come to Waterhead Monk Coniston. Okay, so it tells you um, the accessibility, where to park, what you might see, where you might want to go for a sandwich or a cup of tea. Okay, it is an absolutely beautiful book. Swimming Wild in the Lake District by Susanna Krushikanshank. And um, I, I know that she's on Facebook because she does one-to-one -one swim lessons um, with people and group swims also. Um, and I think it, on, in fa on Facebook she's called Susanna Swims. But it's a fantastic, fantastic book. I really, 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 really recommend it. I do love it. So let's see what the temperature is. I put my thermometer in before I started the call. Okay, so the temp is around five degrees. Okay, so um, it's sort of in between 40 and 42. And so it's around four or five degrees today, which isn't so bad. And the air temperature is 8.5. So actually it is quite warm, well, you know, it's not totally freezing um, when you get out. So I'm going to get in now and see how I get on and then I'll demonstrate what you do when you've forgotten your towel on the way out. Okay, so that was nice, and I just put some water on my face because when you've got your bobble hat on, you uh, you can't put your, your head in as well as you would like. So we've all been there and forgotten our towel, or you've got gone somewhere and you've got a costume in your back of your car because everybody has extra bit of kit and other things, but you haven't got a towel. And so that happened to me um, the other day, and um, I had to improvise. So this is what I improvised with. So this is in my car. When I'm in a hurry and um, can't wait for the fan to demist the windscreen or the windows. And so I just use this. Highly, highly effective in getting you dry so that, because otherwise if you don't get properly dry 
obviously your clothes stick to you and you're quite cold anyway and your hands aren't working very well. So this you probably get at Aldi on Car Week, Lidl on Car Week, Halfords, um, if you're in America, what's it called? Target, Walmart, and um, you can use both sides. So I've just used the bobbly side, and then for a proper dry off, I'm just going to use that that other side. I don't actually know what the, the the manufactured for. It might be to do with cleaning in the house. I don't know, but mine lives in my car, and so when I forgot my towel the other day, that's what I used. Really effective. I'm now dry and I can put my clothes on. This is also the safest place for dogs along this side of the, of the lake. And so, um, yes, if you're going along the east side of the lake, this is the safest place for dogs. You walk down a path, quite a long path away from the road and it's fenced off. I would say this is the safest place for dogs if you want to bring your dog along while you swim. Okay, hold on, dressed within two minutes. Well, three minutes maybe. And uh, a cup of tea in my hand very effective drying uh, thingy that I just showed you there everything's good in the world and warm and um, okay it's over and out from Coniston bye